guys, it's me, Gerilyn, back with another edition of Inside the Box, where we look at my most recent puzzle build. And it is June, it's Pride Month, so I thought it would be fun to pick a rainbow puzzle to celebrate and show some love to the LGBTQIA plus community and all our friends and family out there who identify as such. So I picked the Lego Rainbow Brooks puzzle by Chronicle Books. It's a thousand pieces and it is single-sided. So my husband actually bought me this puzzle. Um, it was a gift for either Christmas or my birthday. And because I'm a horrible human being, I cannot remember which one it is. Um, but he knows that I love rainbows and I'm a fan of Legos. So he pretty much hit the mark on this one. I mean, I'm an adult human and I actually own rainbow band-aids that I wear uh, when I have a cut. And um, I'm in the middle of doing the medieval blacksmith house build uh, from Lego. I think I'm on like bag seven. So that's a little bit about me as an adult human embracing my child side. So what are you gonna find when you open the box? Well, the pieces come bagged. They are in a paper bag, which is a little bit unusual, but that's for recyclability. And the bag even says it's compostable, so that's nice. And then you are also going to get a small poster to help with assembly. So the puzzle image on one side, and then an advertisement from Lego and Chronicle for additional puzzles on the other. Um, and also there's like minimal dust in the bag, so you're not gonna get a whole lot of dust with this one either. Let's look at the pieces themselves. So here's an example of one piece. Get it to focus. Come on, there we go. All right, it's one-sided. So puzzle image on the one side and then cardboard on the other. So sorting is pretty easy. It's a medium thickness kind of a piece. Not too thick, not too thin. And as I move it around in the sun, you can see that there is a little bit of a glare, but nothing too bad. It's a semi-gloss. I didn't have any trouble with glare while I was doing the puzzle. It's a pretty standard size for a thousand piece puzzle. And most of the pieces are cut like this where the, the standard four sided jigsaw puzzle cut with male female connectors. There were like 34 pieces. I'll show an example that were odd cut where it has like a wavy edge. You see here. And then the rest of the piece would be this male female standard connectors. And the pieces this time were sturdy. I didn't have any issues with damaged pieces at all. Um, not when I opened the box or actually putting the puzzle together. Nothing flaked or peeled or anything like that. When I tackled this puzzle, I started with the edge pieces first. So I sorted those all out and built the border before I even started the inside pieces. Then when it came time to do the inside, well, it's a rainbow. I organized them by color and I found it was much easier to do each color section if I could see all of the pieces associated with that color palette at one time. So for instance, I started with the reds. I pulled out anything that had a red or a pink on it so that I could do those at one time. And that just made it a whole lot easier. The transition points between colors were actually the hardest part of this puzzle. So for instance, like I'd be working on green and then I wouldn't be finished with the greens, but I'd have to start with the blues because the greens would overlap into the blue a little bit. And those actually were the hardest points where, where they, they transitioned to a different color. Um, so I definitely recommend organizing my color and seeing all of the color palette you were working on at one time. The other hint I have is actually to look at the shadows. So as you can see on this puzzle piece, that little Lego nub makes a crescent shadow. And it does this all the way across the puzzle in the same direction. So you can use those shadows to orient your puzzle pieces to see like if they're upside down or, or right side up. And then you could even do this while you're organizing it. I actually didn't do that until the very end of the puzzle. I didn't think to do it so, but it made it a lot easier when I did. But you could definitely use those shadows across the whole puzzle. My overall impression of this puzzle is good. Uh, you probably heard me say at the beginning that this was a Chronicle book puzzle, which makes this my third book company puzzle in a row. Completely unintentional. I didn't even realize I was doing this until I wrote notes after assembling this puzzle. Uh, and then I noticed it. But this puzzle fit my expectations of a book company puzzle a lot more than the last one. The last one was pretty rough. This one, excellent. I did not have any issues with... Um, 
puzzle piece quality. Uh, there was no damage pieces. They fit together well. They were cut well. The image was clear and crisp. Minimal dust. It's what I would expect from a book company puzzle. It was excellent. And the only oddity that I found was in the coloration of all the different images of this puzzle. So for instance, you have an image on the puzzle box, you have an image on the poster, and then you have the puzzle itself. Three different images. Well, none of the three images were precisely the same color. They were all off by just like slight degrees, but enough that it made it kind of hard to use anything as a reference material when doing the puzzle. So I primarily use the poster, um, but the poster was off just enough that it made referencing it hard. Um, when you're in the middle of the blues and you're just trying to, they all kind of look the same. You're just trying to find your blue and it's hard if the, the coloration is slightly off. So it didn't make the greatest reference material. I don't know why this is. Maybe they use different printers. Um, maybe it's because it's on different paper for each one of them. I'm not sure what it is. I don't think it's intentional or unintentional. I think it's just is and it's just odd. Um, but I don't think that that would detract from my experience of doing this puzzle at all, honestly. So I don't really hold that against them. I just think it's an oddity. My star ratings are as follows. For quality, I give it a four out of five. So the pieces were cleanly cut and they fit well together. The image quality was excellent. There was little dust. But that oddity of the coloring being slightly different between the puzzle and the reference material isn't great, so I'll take off one star and give it a four out of five. For difficulty, I will give it a two out of five. It was actually a pretty easy puzzle as far as the thousand piece puzzles go. The shadows helped a lot, and the fact that you could do entire color blocks at one time made it a lot easier. As far as picture, I will give it a three out of five. So I love Legos, I love rainbows, but let's face it, this image wasn't that exciting. So it is what it is, it's a gradient. It's pretty, but it's not that exciting. So three out of five. And then overall, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. The easiness of the puzzle made it fun to do, and the quality is excellent, and that's what counts when you're doing a puzzle. So would I recommend this puzzle? Yes, emphatically yes, and I'm so happy that I can say that in a video. Um, I would recommend this puzzle. In my last video, I said a good puzzling experience requires three things. A clear image, well-fitting pieces, and cleanly cut pieces, and this puzzle had all of those things. It was a joy to do. And if you love Legos, rainbows, color spectrums, gradients, those kinds of things, you will like this puzzle and I would highly recommend it. I look forward to doing it again in the future. If you're interested in buying this puzzle, a quick Google search shows that you can get it directly through Chronicle Books or Lego, and I will link to those in the description. Amazon also had it and Barnes and Noble had it as well. Uh, there were also other small independent puzzle retailers on the list. My husband got this for me as a gift, so I have no idea where he bought it. Uh, but if you can buy a puzzle and support a small business at the same time, do it because they work hard and they deserve your business. All right, guys, that is all I have to say about the Lego Rainbow Bricks puzzle. This is a companion video to my Relax with a Puzzle Lego Rainbow Bricks video. And if you're interested in that, I will link it in the description. I would love for you to go check it out. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, do all the things, please. I would be forever grateful. And until next time, I will see you later. All right, bye guys.